And this is our Nightmare Before Christmas story. Well, it's not really a nightmare, but it's a funny story. It's definitely a funny story. Um, we like to go out every year, probably the first weekend after Thanksgiving, and uh, cut our own tree down. It's, it's a lot of fun, and it kind of gets us in the Christmas spirit. Molly will sometimes bring hot chocolate, and um, even before the boys, we enjoy doing it. But now with the boys, we really enjoy cutting our own tree down. Well, on one particular trip, we had uh, gone to a farm and got the tree, and I've, I've always been the guy that's been like, no, don't tie the tree on to, to my car, I'll tie it on, I'm the knot tire, I know how to do this. So I, I get up there, I tie the tree on, and we're flying down the road, uh, coming up 229, and um, all of a sudden, no warning whatsoever, the tree just, doom, <laughs> off the back of the escape. <laughs> and... Uh, so we pull over and um, I go running back there and not only is the tree just have a ton of road rash on it, my roof rack is still tied to the tree. <laughs> so uh, I, I uh, picked everything back up and got the flashers on on the side of the road and uh, open up that back hatch and I'm jamming the tree into the, to the car. Mm -hmm. We get it loaded back up and we get home and our beautiful tree that we spent hours and hours looking for um, wasn't quite so beautiful anymore. This was, you don't remember that, do you, buddy? But it, it had a lot of road rash. It was one of those trees we were trying to position it three different ways to maybe find one side that looked nice. But um, anyway, it, it definitely wasn't, wasn't the greatest uh, tree hunting experience for us that year. But once decorated, it was beautiful. Yeah, that's good. Yeah.